Good morning everyone. Today the small subconcept is composition of clothing. What materials are present inside the unit? There are different kinds of materials are present. Those are personal water, it is in 96 percentage. Organic substances, it is in 2.5 percentage. Here organic substances means urea, uric acid, creatinine, hormones and oxalates etc. These are comes under organic substances. It's nearly 2.5 percentage. Third one, inorganic solutes. It's nearly 1.5 percentage. Inorganic solutes means sodium, chloride, magnesium, calcium, iodine, etc. The total percentage of inorganic solutes are 1.5 percentage. So these are the components present inside the urine. Once again, water 96 percentage, organic substances 2.5 percentage, inorganic solutes 1.5 percentage. These are the components present inside the urine. What is the nature of urine? Is it acid or base? That is the nature of urine. See, beginning at the beginning of the urine condition is acidic in nature. The pH value of urine is nearly 6.0. It's nothing but acid. Later, gradually, the compositions are changed. Means here, urea converted into ammonia. When it is changing urea to ammonia, the nature of urine also can be changed. That is, yes to base. It is in alkaline nature. At the beginning, it is in acid nature. Later, gradually, pH values changed, it becomes an alkaline or base. Now, what is the color of urine? Urine color is amber. Amber nothing but yellow in color. Because of one enzyme is present, that enzyme is called as urochrome. Urochrome. This is one of the enzyme which gives a yellow color to the urine. Yellow color to the urine. That enzyme is called as urochrome. Urochrome. Both kidneys fail completely. That condition is called as ESRD. ESRD means end stage renal disease. ESRD means end stage renal disease. End stage renal disease. Complete and irreversible kidney failure. ESRD means complete and irreversible kidney failure. Completely it becomes failed. What is ESRD? End stage renal disease. If kidneys stop working completely, both kidneys are stopped completely. There are bodies filled with extra water and waste products. Extra water and waste products remains in the body. That is called uremia. This is one of the disease. If you get this disease, our body is filled with extra water and waste products. The person's body becomes swollen. 
the body getting a swelling that is called urinary the last important point is there just keep in mind the protein gets deaminated in the liver what is deaminated here deaminated means amine groups are removed from the proteins that is deamination removal of amino groups amino acids are there no those groups are removed from the proteins that is called deamination deamination process occurs in the liver liver means uh, urea is formed keep in mind urea formed in the liver it is present uh, right side of our body it is the largest gland liver is the largest gland in our body it's very most important gland it performs above 600 functions the study of liver is called as hepatology see hepatology this is the study of liver just keep in mind the study of liver is called hepatology liver cons- uh, consists hepatocytes hepatocytes so the study of liver is called as hepatology urea formed in the liver just keep in mind once again what are the components of uh, urine water nitrous is percentage organic substance is 2.5 and inorganic solute is 1.5 total 100 percentage what is the color of urine amber or yellow in color what is the reason for that color it can say consists one enzyme that is called urochrome urea is formed in the liver what is esrt understage renal disease what is urea our body is filled with extra water and waste products due to kidney stop working completely just keep in mind these are important points the study of liver is called as hepatology thank you thank you children